uh, an unboxing video of the Kiptronics Inventors Kit for the BBC Microbit. Um, some of you have already seen we've already got Microbit, so we bought that separately. The Microbit and the battery pack. Uh, but we wanted to do a few more things, and we've got some wires and stuff and connected stuff together, but we wanted to make it really easy to do and to have some projects to do. Um, so we bought this online, it was about £25. Um, um, but we haven't opened it yet, so we're going to open it on, uh, on the camera and you can see what's inside. Okay. You can see inside, we've got lots of different things, we're going to take them out and have a look at them. Which one to start on? That bit, okay. So this is a called um, well, to do with the edge connector. This edge connector here on the BBC micro bit is where you can have lots of wires connecting to it, reading all kinds of different things. Um, but obviously it's very, very, very tiny if you can kind of see. Some of them are a bit bigger that you can clip things onto, but the small ones would be really difficult to clip onto. So this has a little um, kind of hole at the end and you can get around the right way and push your micro bit in. It's a bit stiff. And then all of the pins that we can see on the micro bit are now available on these pins at the bottom here. And some other stuff in the kit makes it really easy to um, connect things onto that. So that's the first bit. And then there, what else we got? Let's have a look at this bit. It's a piece of plastic. Well, I'm so excited. Uh, but actually what we're going to do is that this part that we've already shown you mounts onto the plastic bit because you want to make sure that you're not touching any metal bits onto the bit at the back so it mounts onto there there's some bits in here uh, for doing that um, and then we've got a kind of board to build all our things on so the next thing we'll show people might be this one can you take that one okay. and unwrap it so this thing here uh, is called a breadboard bizarrely uh, but what it's for is that when you get some of the other bits and pieces that we're going to show you in a moment, they have wires on them, and we need a way of um, connecting bits together. So we can put wires on those little spikes there, but it's really, this is for putting your, sticking your other things in and then connecting wires between stuff. You can build your own little circuit board without having to have like a printed circuit board you get in. It's what people use for something called prototyping, where you're just planning out your electronics. Um, but it'd be really good for us to very, very quickly change between one thing that we're building and another thing we're building without having to use solder if you've ever seen that way. People melt metal to stick things together. So that's uh, going to go on the board there, and the micro bit is going to go there, and we'll show you that all built at another time. What's next? Should we look through stuff the other back? Should we take some stuff out? Uh, these are all in a ribbon at the moment, but that's just how they come together. You can peel one off. Oh, yes. Oh, and then on one end, you've got um, what's called the male bit of it, a bit that sticks out. That goes into one of the holes on the breadboard. And on the other end, you've got the female bit, which you can put a male bit into. But that's how you can join um, these wires to these bits that stick out on the micro bit. So you can plug it in there and plug this end into the breadboard and that's how you get something connected to one of those. Is that quite cool? Uh, bits in there are just the bits that we need to screw the bits and pieces together for the, um, the kind of constructor board. Oop, I've managed to pull one of the little sticky necks off as well. And it just comes with four little sticky pads that you stick on the bottom just so it doesn't slip around and whatever you do it. So we'll build that later and show you. Let's move those over here. And we're going to stuff. What's next? Do you want to show people the next packet? So these are all our bits, all our electronics bits. Uh, the posh name for them is components. Would you like some components? This is from that inside. Ah, there you go. So in the components, if we tip them out, we can go through what there is. We'll pick one up at a time. We can go through what it is. What's that? A fan. A fan. Okay, that kind of goes with 
this exciting bit here, which is a motor. And it has wires at the other end that will stick into the breadboard. And a fan that can connect on there. That's one of the things we could drive with the motor. But we can also, so that when we put um, electricity through that, it'll make it spin around. But we can also do some projects where you blow the fan and create electricity, like a wind turbine. Does. Yeah. So that's uh, a motor. What else we got? What are those? LED. What can you remember what LED stands for? Yay! Um, and you'll notice on these LEDs we've got green ones and yellow ones, uh, all kinds of different ones in here. Um, we've even got this special one, which is really difficult to see, but it's got an extra wire on the end. And this one we can change the colour of. It changes colour. We can do rainbow! Yeah. Um, so on a normal LED, you've got two little legs coming up at two wires, and they're sticking things. And the reason that one is longer than the other is you have to connect them around the right way. So normal bulbs don't need to be connected the right way, do they? You can just stick it over. An LED needs to make sure it's got positive on one and negative on the other. And I can't remember because it's been so long since I've done one, which one's which? So we will have to look that up. Um, but a diode is actually used sometimes to stop electricity going back the other way. Because this is a light emitting diode, you can get things that are just diodes. And they're used for some clever things. Uh, so that's the LEDs, got a few of those. What other bits and pieces we got here? I'm hoping you recognise these. No. no? You draw them in circuits, I've seen you do that, that's cool. These are resistors. Okay? Have you seen them differently? Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, they've got different colours, you're not going to see that on the camera really, but different colours on them. And the different colours are how much resistance each one um, has. So they're all in, in kind of uh, wide. We've got three lots. And there'll be different resistance. And you have to go and okay, we'll tell us in the book, but you can go online and look up what the order of colours mean and what resistance that will be. Okay? Yeah. Uh, we have some of these. What are we have? Little batteries. batteries. Yeah, they look a bit like batteries. They work a little bit like batteries as well. These are capacitors. They can be used for all kinds of things, but they store charge in them a bit like a battery, but they don't keep it there for very long, they don't store very much, but you can do some very slow things with them. And we've got, any of those, we've got one of those? Um, Maybe one of those. Uh, we have got this. Can you hold that one up? Okay. Any idea what it is? Yeah. It's a buzzer. It's not quite a speaker, because it can't do lots of nice audio, nice and music, buzz. it can do buzzes at different frequencies. So you can play tunes on it, but they'll be like a, a, an old computer kind of doing a tune kind of thing. Um, it's uh, what we call a piezo, piezoelectric buzzer, is how it works. Uh, we have got, uh, this. this is really, really, really tiny. Um, it's got a little tiny black head, and unlike the capacitor, which is perfectly a cylinder. This one, what kind of shape is it? Can you describe it? Um, a cylinder. It's like half a cylinder or a little bit more. Uh, and this is a transistor. And transistors do some very clever things in electronics. Um, but these are what computers are actually made out of. You can build lots of things. If we didn't, if someone hadn't invented the transistor, we wouldn't have all of the ele clever electronics we have today. Um, so that's a kind of more advanced thing. We have got these, which look a lot buttons. like ones on here. But these are our own buttons. We, and we can have extra buttons, we can move the buttons on here so that they are somewhere else. We can do all kinds of things with buttons. The same sound as the yeah, we've got, I think, four of those, maybe. And uh, I can't guess what that one is. I think I know what it's for. So it's um, it's got a, two screws in the top and two of the kind of electronic wire legs out the bottom. And I think what it will let us do is most of these components will push directly into the board. These legs are stiff, they're not floppy wires. Um, but the speaker, not the speaker, sorry, the motor has very floppy wires, yeah? Bendy. And trying to push that in the hole will be difficult. 
So what you can do is unscrew the screws a little bit, put the wire ends through the little holes, and then you can push that in. So it's a way of mounting other things that don't have these stiff wires on it. Uh, I think there's a few more other things here. Uh, I think these are two... Oh, so it's the buttons are there, okay. So this is like a little twisty bit, and it clips into here. Uh, and what it is, is it's like these, which are called resistors, but you can vary how much resistance it is. So it is a variable resistor. Okay. It can be used for things like uh, volumes, which is even you could use it for if you wanted to. Um, but usually it's where you've got something that changes, like a frequency changes as you turn the resistance or something. Um, so we could use it for changing the, the pitch of music. I think we've probably gone through everything in there at the moment. So that's all the components. They will have to go back safely in that bag, otherwise we will lose them. <laughs> Uh, what's the next thing in the bag, in the bag Jazz? Uh, a book. A book. It's actually the last thing other than some bubble wrap, so we'll get rid of the box for now. Really it is really thick. Um, so we could kind of try and imagine how to do some of these things, but there are smarter, better people in the world than us that are doing electronics and computers, and so they have written um, a book that goes with the whole kit, um, that is the tutorial book, and it contains 10 experiments. We've got 10 different experiments with all these. We can do infinite number of experiments if we can think of them, but these are 10 to get us started. Um, and I've had a look through some of these online, but they, they, each one comes with um, like how to write the code for each one, and how to wire up the components. See that? And they even come with this, which is like a, a, a proper electronic diagram that tells you. So some of these little symbols on here represent electronic components. So the one with the wavy lines. Uh, oh, there isn't a wavy line on it. The ones with these blocks are resistors. We used to draw them as wavy lines, of course. Uh, there's switches. There's all kinds of stuff on there. And you'll see on some of the other ones the more complicated diagrams. Uh, there's a whole load of experiments you want to read out. What experiment? Oh, it tells you what all the parts are. Which hopefully I've got them right. Uh, terminal connector, that one's called. Uh, somewhere is a list of all the experiments in here. So it does some kind of basic introduction if you haven't programmed your micro bit yet and tells you how to put the breadboards together. Um, I think it's a list of experiments. Yes, we've got things like um, dimming an LED using a potentiometer. A potentiometer is the posh name, proper name for a variable resistor. Um, using a transistor, that funky half-shaped thing with three bits, to drive a motor. Um, using the accelerometer, so the BT microbit has an accelerometer on it to control the speed of the motor. So I'm guessing you would tilt the board and it would speed it up. All kinds of different things in there, so we're going to have a play with some of those and uh, come and show you some of those, and it should be really good fun. But uh, that's going to be our kind of introduction for now. See? You.